Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In this episode, we will see how we can use the power of slicers to enhance the table filtering and manage the table data more efficiently. To follow along with me, make sure you have a copy of this workbook downloaded using the link in the video description. We have two worksheets on this workbook. See, it is where I will demonstrate and do it is for you to practice. Let us begin. I have this huge data of around 10,000 employees. Now, if I want to filter away and see only certain parts of this data, say I want to see the people from the sales department who are full time and are from the southern region of Austria, I might have to apply several filters to see that data. Let me show you how. If I just place my cursor somewhere inside this data and then go to data tab and click on this filter funnel, I will have the filters applied on my entire data. Now, if I just click on this drop down of department, say I want to see the people from IT services, I select that, click OK. Now, I want to see only full time employees. I have to unselect all that, select full time employees, click OK. Then I want to see people only from say Austria. I will select that one, unselect all the others and then click OK. Now I have four employees who are of ID services full time and are from Austria. So I had to apply filter several times and I had to do several clicks. So there are chances that I might goof up. I might perform a mistake. When dealing with heavy data, we have to be careful. To avoid that, we can use the power of slicers and make it more interactive. Let me clear this filter and remove the filters by clicking on that funnel. Now, I will change this data into a proper table. To do that, I can place my cursor somewhere inside this data, then press Ctrl T on my keyboard, or I can go to the Home tab and then click on Format as Table and select any of the designs. I will go with this one. As soon as I do that, it will select my entire range and also have an option that my table has headers. So let me select that and then click OK. Now my data is converted into proper table. Now with this one in hand, I can use slicers. On the top, you can see I have the table tools tab. If I just click outside, it's gone. If I click inside the table, it's back again. It's a dynamic tab. It will appear when you are inside this table. So while inside this table, I will go into that design tab and select insert slicer. When I do that, I have this insert slicers pop up with all the names of the columns. I can select any columns and make it a slicer. It will call the unique values from that column. So for example, if I say I want departments and country and staff type and then click OK. Now I have all these slicers. I can just place them somewhere on my screen nicely place them um, department I'm not getting enough space so I will just zoom out and then place my department here now I will just click anywhere outside that slicer say I want to see people from Austria I just click on that I want to see full-time employees of Austria there we go I want to see only the admin people there we go it was very quick click 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 done now, if I want to get rid of some filters, for example, I just want to see the full time employees who are admins and they can be from any country. So I'll just get rid of this filter by clicking on that clear filter button on the top right of the slicer block and the filter is cleared on this block. Similarly, I can get rid of the filter here and on the department as well. But there is a problem here. Let me show you what exactly it is. Let me clear all the filters. If I just scroll down my slicers are also going up i want to place them somewhere so that they are always visible to me i may have to freeze certain number of rows to place them on the top so let me just move them down a bit let me move the department also somewhere here let me go with 10 rows on the top select all of that and then right click in the selection click insert it will insert 10 rows on the top i will place my department here but it's not fitting well so i will change this to a two column layout while I have that slicer selected, I will go into the options tab and change it to two columns. Now it seems to be working. Great. I will reduce the size and increase the height of this one a bit. I don't want the scroll bars. So I will just increase this one a bit more. Staff type seems to be fitting very well. Now I have countries. There are too many countries on my list. So I'll just expand it till here and 
scroll it squeeze it i mean and then increase the number of columns here to three or four column now i have my countries in very manageable position i will select this cell that is the first cell of my data then go into the view tab and select free spains and then select freeze top row now if i scroll down Oh no, it's 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 freezing the top row. So let me unfreeze that and let me be on that cell and then click freeze and then select the first option which says freeze panes and it will freeze from that point onward. So if I scroll down, my slicers are sitting right there on the top. Even if I'm scrolling down, I can simply select Denmark, fix term employees from ID services. There we go. I have my data very quickly on my screen. Isn't it simple and easy? It is very powerful yet very simple to use. I would request you to practice as much as you can to retain this learning. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask that in the comment section below. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Excel. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and click that little bell to receive notifications of new videos from my channel. Thank you so much and you have a lovely one. Until next time.